I want to talk to you briefly about our sleep formula. Now, sleep issues have truly become uh, an epidemic. Uh, sleeping in our society is pretty much non-existent for most people. And when we talk about sleep issues, they're really two, they fall under two general categories. Uh, one being have a hard time falling asleep. And the second is they fall asleep and they wake up. And I guess a third one is they can't fall asleep and when they do, they wake up. So those, you know, those are generally sleep issues yeah. that we see a lot of. Yeah. Now, uh, what are some of the reasons why people have a difficult time with sleep in general? Well, you know, if you're overweight at all, at all, I mean, that can, you know, look at the epidemic today of even just sleep apnea, right? Um, you know, that's often caused by just that extra, you don't get enough oxygen, your diaphragm has got extra weight around it. I well, mean, on that, driven. a quick study that was done that there's a strong association between sleep apnea, snoring, and Alzheimer's. Yeah. I mean, it's lack a, of oxygen. Lack of oxygen, yeah. yeah. Uh, the other thing, too, is uh, a lack of B12. Yeah. You know, B12 is a very important vitamin, not only for your energy during the day and your metabolism, but actually calming you down slow and giving you extra oxygen to the brain. So, yeah, I mean, these things, uh, the, I see in women, uh, hormones, you know, big uh, issues, hormonal, hormonal issues. big, big yeah. thing. I mean, women that used to sleep very well, they don't sleep well anymore. Uh, estrogen dominant, or they're very low in progesterone. Um, and, you know, they're men either premenopausal, perimenopausal, or menopausal women. Uh, oftentimes, the biggest side and effect of them is they just don't another sleep Another big anymore. one, obviously, is cortisol. Cortisol is a massive reason why both men and women can't sleep. Now, cortisol runs on a circadian kind of 24-hour cycle, right? You wake up in the morning, cortisol levels are supposed to be the highest because cortisol helps bring your blood sugar up. So, you, you know, you have, you've fasted all night, so your cortisol levels are high. And as the day goes on, it should be decreasing as the day goes on. But one of the problems that we see uh, is people, they have high cortisol all the time. So their blood sugars are elevated at nighttime, they can't sleep. They can't, they can't sleep. Yeah. There's a tug of war going on between you know cortisol, insulin, glucagon. But anyways, at the end of the day, it strongly affects their ability to sleep. Now we have a sleep formula that we put together based on clinical experience. We formulate it with the stuff that we like that not only helps the brain stop racing, that's a big issue that people have too. Their mind just continues to race all yeah. night. Helps them fall asleep, helps them stay asleep. We The feedback we get is tremendous. People sleeping through the night, feeling refreshed. Not addictive, uh, yeah, no side not effects. Dopey. Not you know, dopey. You don't get up in the morning and you're doped out. I mean, that's a big thing. That's yeah, built you around. You know how many people elastics. are living on sleep on sleeping? They cannot go to sleep without a sleeping pill. And that is not without consequence because mm -hmm. a lot of studies show again, Alzheimer's is a big thing. There's a lot of consequences to. Yeah. They were never meant to be something to take long term. Uh, a lot of cancer side effects to these things. So yeah, yeah I mean, you, you definitely want to correct the issue that's causing sleep problems. And then, like I said, our sleep formula is, uh, you know, uh, formulated by us for this specific uh, reason. If you have any questions on that, you can email us at info at martinclinic.com.